just going to call this episode 1.5 as it's an in-between episode to, to get hopefully to the stage where I'm trying to get to. Uh, at the moment the setup is, first up we have the ATX power supply running at 5 volts, which is coming into our um, HHO generator, bubbler. When it's running, it's running about 8 amps. This puts out a medium amount of, um, a small amount of gas, so it's enough to test. I don't really want anything bigger than that because um, if you'll see in a moment, this, um, that amount of gas is enough to sort of make a bit of a bang. Um, then we've got the Arduino, which is controlling it. We have issues with that as well. That uh, seemed to have failed. Got it working again now. Um, we have a delay between the um, pulse of uh, fuel from the solenoid and the, um, when the um, coil collapses and gives us a spark. So this um, Arduino has power going to the spark plug, which is a spark, and we've got a fairly cheap e-based solenoid valve. Above the solenoid valve, I've got a one-way check valve, but it doesn't seem to be working as what it would expect. And I'll run it and I'll show you what the problem is. So the solenoid valve fires, and you can feel, like you feel it firing there, and the spark comes in after. But I'm not sure whether the solenoid valve's not holding or what the problem is. But uh, now it's running. I'll okay. Now it's running. I just turn the gas on when I get a pulse. There's a slight delay because it gets air into the tube there, and then once we get it to fire, she explodes. So, either the solenoid valve is being blown open, or the spark is happening while the solenoid is opening. The problem is, it's very difficult to tell that because it's such small delay or small times that we're talking about. So, that's the problem. And as you can see, um, it makes a mess of the balloon, so that we don't really want a lot of gas in the balloon when it uh, detonates from being a backflash or flashback. So this is uh, an eBay high voltage, uh, high frequency um, spark output. I've got it set up with a manual button. So what I'm going to set it up as is the spark side of it and do a pulse with the uh, solenoid, one pulse, and then when it, then fire it manually and to see with the delay, because my delay is going to be more. If it still keeps, still keeps blowing, well it's probably blowing back past the solenoid valve. We have some gas. We have the igniter. It's got a lot of spark. And that'll be plenty, so I'll just hook that up to the um, spark plug. I'm going to have to sort of feel the pulse because I don't have a visual reference. I don't have an LED set up on this line for this one. I'll fire, then wait a second and then um, discharge. Exploding. So what I'm going to do now, I'll put the valve setup I've got for the bottom end in, and that should retain the gas, so we we'll make sure we're not losing the gas. Okay, just going to try more. One, two, three times the amount of. That's better. Five, six. Yeah, that's getting a bit more like seven, eight, ten, one, two. Yeah, we're not getting any gas. It isn't flashing back, so that just indicates that the timing has to be wrong because that valve is actually holding when it's got much more air in it than what I've been putting in. So it's it's not the solenoid valve I don't believe, I believe the timing is wrong. So the timing is firing after, so it may have to change the Arduino so that the um, this pulses and then this fires, whereas I've been using a coil 
it could be something to do with the coil collapses or something like that. So this time I'm going to try and fire this spark closer to the pulse instead of leaving a delay. I'll try, try and manually fire closer to the pulse. As soon as I hear the pulse I'm firing it. Six. Better, that's at six. So this time I've increased the volume of each solenoid pulse by nearly three times. So there's three times as much going in. So we'll manually be firing it again, but we'll see how that goes. Conclusion from that leads me to believe that the solenoid valve is not blowing back, so it's just the timing from the spark is actually igniting when the valve is open, which is causing those all those flashbacks. Um, I may look at a way to just use this topic spark exciter and to definitely time it after. Um, and pressure, I need, if I can get HHO into pressure, it's going to be a lot easier to try to pass this amount through the valves. That's the big another issue, but pressure on HHO is not a good idea. So we'll have to see what we can do with pressure to get some pressure from the HHO and solenoid valve and the spark emission changes.